Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Massive, massive news. Rusty Rasmus has officially announced his 23 to face the All Blacks and it's a very, very interesting team. Uh, a, a move away from the 6-2 split. No Sasha Fahmi Gomazulu in the starting line and no Apele Fassi in the 23 are the big changes in what is a very, very interesting team to try and... Um, and uh, Sort of break apart you know we knew there were going to be changes we knew there were going to be some rotation but i don't think anyone kind of has picked this you know moving away from a bomb squad you know people talking about how is the 6-2 going to look like well it's not even a 6-2 you know people talking about uh you know who's going to replace uh, Kurt Lawrence well Kenny Moody is back in the mix and uh, after one of his best games in the box Joe Apple Fassi will not play a part in this weekend's game so some very very big calls being made um, by the Springbok coaching staff and uh, very interested to listen here to Pomerus Erasmus um, and about exactly why they made the decisions that they have in, in terms of the team selection because it's brave. It is brave, nothing else. Um, it, and uh, you got to feel for a couple of the players who who who, are, who do miss out. Uh, the big news obviously being that Sia Khaleesi is also fit and will start the match as well. Before we look at the side, please do smash like on the video. Please do sub subscribe to the channel as well. Right, this is the side that will start this weekend. Let's go through it, shall we? Uh, if we look at the front row, it is Oxen Chair, Boggy Manami, France Mohuber in an unchanged front row. Even Etzebe, after coming off the bench last weekend, will start in that number four jersey next to Ruan Nokia, who continues to get some game time after an impressive outing last weekend. It is then probably our best loose trio in Sia Khaleesi, Peter Step, the toy, and Jasper Visa. Jasper Visa coming back from injury, or from his suspension rather, and really, really impressing last weekend. I thought he was absolutely superb. Massive call at the halfbacks. It is Grant Williams getting just his second start for the Springboks uh, at nine, with his first start being that uh, the game against um, the Argentina at Ellis Park, which we lost in unfortunately about two, three minutes. Um, so he will get his first proper start at nine. And he's next to Andre Pollard, who gets his first start um, of the Rugby Championship. Set by Magomed Zulu has been back for the first three games. He has dropped down to the bench in what is a very interesting 5 3 split. Uh, if we look at um, the rest of the back line. Uh, there's a Chesney Colby switching from the number 14 to the number 11 jersey. Kanan Moody coming in at number 14. And Billy LaRue will make his 97th appearance for the Spring Box at full back ahead of Apple de Fassi. It is an unchanged center pairing of Damien Delendi and Jesse Creel. If you look at the bench, it is Malcolm Mark, Cleo Stenkamp, no Stephen Kitsop. We thought we might see him this weekend. Not the case. Vincent Koch. Named in the number 18 jersey. Quacker Smith, Albert Lowe, your two uh, forward replacements. Um, with Jaden Hendricks are coming onto the bench to partner Sasha Fahm, Zulu, and the Kanye Am, who we thought was going to be involved after being on press conference duty. So much to try and pick apart in this team. Let's talk about um, what Rassi Rasmus has had to say. Um, he said the following He said, This match is going to be massive. Um, he said, New Zealand are a world-class outfit, and we know that they'll be desperate to bounce back after leading the second half last week. They'll also be fully aware of the fact that a victory could give them a huge boost on the Castle Lago Rugby Championship standings, and they'll be planning to, re planning to retain the Freedom Cup, which they've held since 2010. It's going to be another epic encounter. They're a quality team with a lot of pace and several players who had great X-Factor. We also saw last week what they can do if they get a strong start. While they have proven time and time again that they are a team that can close out games under a lot of pressure in the last 20 minutes. So it's going to take a huge team effort to register a victory against them. Um, the big news, obviously, is that there is no injuries, for example, to uh, Ben Jason Dixon and Afle Fassi. No scores come off. This are, these are um, tactical changes. Um, there are, however, injuries to Kirtley Orenser, who uh, um, has been ruled out of the match due to concussion and uh, that being pretty much the only injury from last weekend, uh, despite it being very much not the only change. Let's look at it, shall we? So, I mean, obviously, it's a very different type of team, you know. Uh, again, we've kind of always seen that when Andre Pollard starts at 10, Villeru tends to start at, at 15. You know, that's just kind of the the, the vibes that we've kind of gone with um, over over the years. So... It's, it's an interesting decision, and it'll be interesting to see how the kind of the dynamics change, especially when, for example, Damien Willemser comes back. 
Um, but uh, once again, we kind of got him with that combination. Uh, Kane and Moody back on the side, his first game for the Spring Box this year. And uh, apart from that, you know, the, the big uh, selection for me is Grant Williams starting at nine. Um, I actually had Jaden Henderson starting. I've been saying it all week, uh, much to a lot of people's um, uh, bewilderment sometimes. But I, I think that he is a, a fantastic a test quality um, uh, number nine. And I think that I generally think that he, he's a better start than he is finisher. But um, yeah, they're going with the other way around there. Apart from that. A uh, couple of big changes. The Runa here getting backing is a nice change. 5-3 is an interesting one. I think, to be honest, it makes sense to a certain degree. I don't think the New Zealand pack has really troubled them um, in the sort of line stages. And I don't think we've been getting as big of an impact from the bomb squad with the current set of players as, as maybe we would like. So uh, a bit of a different looking bench um, and uh, interesting to see how that bench goes. We'll talk about it a little bit more in our live stream later today, but let me know what you think of this team down in the comments below. Smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.